Welcome to Ultimate General Civil War using the UI mod 1.8. So I'm showing you my army. So we have three three-star generals, two-star division commanders, four three-star infantry, a bunch of two-stars, Two melee cav, two snipers that are exceptional. Again, two star general, division commanders, whole bunch of one star units. Oh, and I spent reputation for, is it 3,800 men? 3,800 men, I think. Because I just didn't need anything else. So, and the reserve unit just, uh, reserve corps has one unit in it. Um, yeah, everybody comes in. Everybody comes into the army. This is the barracks. Yeah, I can't get over how good those snipers are. I rename... Um, couple of my units before I go into the battle so that everybody, pretty much everybody has a number. So 55, 43, and 42. The enemy has 86,500. I have 82,300. Half as many guns, but that isn't going to matter. Okay, I have a plan. It's a different plan. So the plan is I want the enemy to attack as close to Dunker Church as possible. I'm taking a look at the map and I'm seeing exactly what Lee had in mind. He wanted the enemy to fight down that long corridor uh, while getting hit from all sides. And the difference I have is because I have an army that's twice, over twice the size that Lee had, is when my reinforcements come in, I want to encircle the, the first group of troops that come in. I guess that's hookers division, Hooker's Corps. And, but I want them to come further south so I have a chance to surround them and destroy them. But I want to destroy them close to Dunker Church. This plan sort of works. Sort of. Um, I have to keep remembering to let them advance south, and that's hard for me to do because... Um, Man, this position is just so good, but I want to surround and destroy these guys in the south because the position I have right about now is also the position I want to have when the next group comes in and the next group. So my plan for the next group is to get behind them and destroy their artillery, and then I probably won't have time to destroy them. But if I can, destroy them. But if I can't, then back off. Destroy as much of their, of their artillery as I can by getting behind them. And then back off. Um, and then once the second core area to the right is squared away, um, and all of the Union reinforcements come in, surround them and kill them. So the last time I played this campaign... Um, the position I have right now is basically my defensive line, and that's the same defensive line I want to have when I destroy the big pocket of Union troops. So, if that makes sense. So, the other thing I want to do is um, make sure I don't end the battle before 1930. The battle ends at 1930, not when the clock runs out. That is an enormous amount of time. This battle will be over way before 1930. And um, we have to drag this out to 1930 somehow. So, I don't know, I've been thinking about it and maybe what we need to do, since we know the mechanic is, and everybody knows it, to drag out the battle so you can um, grind stamina condition. Maybe what we want to do is 
uh, set the game so the game doesn't end um, if the enemy is wiped out. Because what I'm about to do is so gamey and unimmersive, it's, it's pretty stunning. So what the enemy is doing is, the enemy is really reinforcing his left. I don't know why, but he is. And my right that's facing him is not that strong, so I'm shifting units to the right. So we'll see how this turns out. Everything on this side is going just fine. Oh, you'll notice that I did not bring my four three-star infantry units. I want these guys to slug it out, grind XP, get experience, take the losses, and then when my good units come in, um, my good units will come in and the enemy will be weakened and they'll crush them. So that's basically it. And the other thing I want them to do is I want them to travel up the left side of the map and be the encircling force that comes in behind the enemy. And those guys firing into the rear of enemy units should be absolutely devastating. And not to, you know, no surprise, they are devastating um, when they come in. The enemy is weakened and, yeah... So making sure everyone's targeting someone they can hit. I hate that when, like, that skirmisher unit was targeting someone to the rear that he couldn't fire at, so he was just going to sit there and do nothing. So that's real irritating. The other thing is, when your infantry is blocked, it'll, it'll just stand there and take losses. And that's irritating. He always seems to charge into that position. That's fine. My skirmisher will get all kinds of uh, melee bonus and my 55 right behind him will fire into him and even get into melee if necessary. Over on my left, the enemy's just being torn apart. I mean, just crushed. Detached skirmishers and my sniper are just crushing and my infantry's just, you know, relaxing. Plus I have two more in reserve. Obviously I'm push planning on a big push up the left flank. You also notice that there's no artillery here. Um, I just didn't think I needed any for this phase. Keep my units in cover and just have them exchange shots. I win. So I'm actually planning on the enemy on the right flank coming down that little corridor and then getting hit in the flank. Um, my detached skirmishers have just crushed his right flank. He's not pushing anywhere. So, yeah, it's that's all working out fine. So he charges. Okay, we'll fall back. So I actually give orders for my units to fall back. I keep remembering, or I keep forgetting, and then I remember, oh yeah, I want this guy to push to the south so I can encircle him. So, so yeah, we're going to fall back, and I want the enemy to come back here so that when my reinforcements come in, he's easier to surround. And I want to destroy this group in the south before his reinforcements come in. So it's not working out on my left flank. The enemy's been completely repulsed. So the enemy units are down to about 1,200. Uh, my units are still, what is that, 18 plus 23 should be in good shape. I didn't, I didn't top these guys off to exactly 2,500. 
um, that would have been a lot of time and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that useful. So, Okay, he's attacking south, good. But unfortunately, he sends a unit charging over to the right, and my detached skirmisher has been uh, routed, and it looks to me like he's trying to route north, which would be a disaster. I'm not gonna let that happen. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop this guy. He doesn't take the shot and retreat, so I'm just gonna pop him. Hey, I need the melee experience, so more melee experience is good. Yeah, I want the guy on the right to actually come down into that corridor, and he's not cooperating. Yeah, so we're going to attack, attack this guy. He launches another attack. Yeah, if that, if that infantry unit actually retreats south, that's fine. I have two melee cav coming in, which will eat him for lunch. But unfortunately, he turns back around. So yeah, that's fine. My infantry is just grinding experience. Okay, he wants to get into more melee. Okay, I want one sniper to the right, one to the left. So that one goes to the right. Now here come my good units. One cav to the right, but really, for this first phase, I should have sent him to the left. Okay, I have, going into this battle, I have three three-star generals, and I come out of this battle with five. I get Lee. And Longstreet, I think it's Longstreet, yeah, Longstreet's going to have a big day. I have him with a fairly green infantry unit in First Corps. Um, I think he just came in just now. I think he's in that group. Um, and his job is just to do as much as possible to level up. And he does, in fact, get his third star. So, all right, we're in melee. Things are going great, but I don't want to get in melee twice. So get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. And those guys are tired. I need them to fall back. And because they're tired, let's see, Longstreet is a one-star unit. I need him to go to the right. I have a Lorenz. He needs to go to the right. Yeah, I want to be careful, though. I'm sending a detached skirmisher in front of my sniper because it's hard to see over there. Okay, now I have a very hard time getting my units to retreat the direction I want them to. It, it, Harbors Ferry 9 on the right. I keep targeting people and telling him to fall back, but he's not doing what I want. Um, and he's exhausted, so... So some of these guys who I had on my left flank are now going to start moving around. It takes, it surprises me how long it takes my good units to get all the way up where I need them. Like time just drags. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where to send my calves so it doesn't slow down my infantry. I really need my, um, to keep my snipers safe, but it looks like I'm behind the enemy army. The Iron Brigade is further to the right than I thought he would be. Um, I'm just walking around his flank. 
So all these guys have to do is just hold the line. But I'm going to have some units run and get, um, get in support because those guys are getting a little tired. Unfortunately, I don't really want to run these guys because they have a lot of fighting to do in the next phase. So what I want this infantry to do is actually retreat south, and I'm having a hard time getting Harper's Ferry 9 to retreat south. So eventually I just tell him to run south. So yeah, I'm telling him to target that guy and fall back, and he's just not doing it. He's not falling back. So I'm going to put him on run, even though he's on exha he's exhausted, and just draw a line south eventually. You'll see it. I just get tired of fiddling with it. Yeah, 45 minutes. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, can I really get around him in 45 minutes? Yet now, I'm hitting fall back and he's headed north. Stupid game. Yeah, I really want that calf up north faster. So I detach a skirmisher and I'm about to tell the guy on the right flank because fallback is just not working um, because the game does weird things when units are against the edge of the map. So yeah, I'm still hoping these guys will just keep coming south because I want to surround them and then take up the defensive line where they are right now facing north. So I, I know it's a convoluted plan, but it more or less works. The only thing is he doesn't push far as far south as I want him to. Yeah, and I'm starting to realize my cav on the right is not going to do anything because of where the edge of the map is. So if for some reason you want to um, do this convoluted plan, uh, send both CAV uh, up the left side of the map. There's not really much for him to do on the right side until the map opens up. So, But there is something for the CAV to do on the right side, or on the left side. So I guess after the map opens up, that would be fine. Yeah, at this point I just tell Harper's Ferry 9 just to run south. Just run. Just get out of there. Because he's, he's actually holding up progress. I don't, my plan is not to hold that position, it's to let the enemy fall south. So, and I can't fall south, fall back south until he gets out of there. So the enemy right is about to get hammered as soon as... Yeah, good, that guy attacked. Good. Happy to see him do that. That's great. And he dies. So that's perfect. So we are getting now... Um, his first artillery is in trouble up in the north. I think he has two more. So my detached skirmishers kept his infantry tied up for a little while my, while my infantry got out of there. Yeah, 
Yeah, fallback isn't working, so I just had those guys move out. So, Harbors Ferry 8, just keep pushing on the Iron Brigade. So, in, in the reinforcements, I did bring in a 24-pound howitzer, and he's going to have a very good day. And he's about to get up on the line. Yeah, his, his skirmisher units just attack like maniacs. Um, pretty suicidal. Yeah, now I can have my infantry fall back. And except for that little hang-up on the right, this has basically worked out the way I want it to. And my left is hooking around and going to get to the edge of the map, and then we're going to start pushing south. And we got, we've gotten him. We would have, I would have taken fewer losses if I could have retreated faster, if I hadn't gotten tied up uh, with... Uh, fall back mechanics, but uh, so far everything's been going well. Got a little bit of melee experience for my units. Yeah, and as soon as those guys on the right get back, fall back, they're going to fall back all the way to the corner. Um, yeah, that'll be great. Boy, I wish I had two cav in the north. And not just one, because that's an opportunity. And my cav in the south has done absolutely nothing. So... Yeah, his unit charges. Who is that? I can't tell, but he's going to take shots from everybody and then fall back. Finally, my, my uh, Lamotte is getting there. That's good. Two detached skirmishers on his artillery, tearing him up. The Iron Brigade is now going to get hit by two units. I want to kill his general as quickly as possible. Ah, the Louisiana Tigers are now in the battle. They give a volley, and the enemy just crumples. So Harper's Ferry 1, my best unit, um, is, all, um, is the Stonewall Brigade. And I want to keep those guys out of battle as much as possible, unless the enemy gives me an opportunity to just beat up on somebody. Um, Louisiana Tigers up in the north, doing good work. Um, yeah, the Iron Brigade is down to 578 men. What am I doing with my cav? Oh, the cav unit went up there and killed an artillery. That's right. So... General Longstreet in the middle. His job is to get into as much combat as possible and get his third star. I didn't expect him to get his third star um, in this battle. I expected it to take two battles, but he gets it. I mean, it's, it's a big uh, gap between where he is and, and getting his third star, but that unit has a big day. So, yeah, he does, he does get his star. So Stonewall is going to stay in cover. Stonewall Brigade's going to stay in cover and not take any unnecessary chances while everybody else does the heavy lifting. My two sniper units find someone to shoot at. Doesn't matter who.
Yeah, 750 men, all uh, three star with all pretty much all their perks are all their stats or attributes are close to 100 except firearms. Um, keep an eye on how much damage this guy does. He just basically touches anybody and they just vaporize. Yeah, I'm not at all sure where to send my other melee unit, my melee cav unit. Okay, he's about to touch that, and bang, gone. So that's how it goes. <laughs> he's having a hard time grinding XP. Everything he touches just immediately disappears. So, yeah. So this is pretty much where I want him in this big open area as my army comes in behind him and kills him. And what I didn't realize when I was doing this is how how much I can run my four my three star units. My three star units can run the, the length of the map and still have plenty of condition at, at the end. I mean it's, it's amazing how they run, fight, and then recover condition. Um, okay, my cav picks up a supply unit. Now, I don't want anybody to shoot at the artillery. I just want my cav unit to take out the enemy artillery. And then my cav unit can take out the iron brigade if he's still there. Hey, this is actually perfect. The enemy is um, out of the woods and fighting me in the open. There's the Lamont in combat. To the guy who attacked me in the south, he routed right away. I just want to make sure, please do not fire into the melee with my cav. Man, my cav takes enormous damage. Um, yeah, I think the artillery unit is already dead, but he's not. So this guy took a couple shots and fell back the 907 in the south and my cab is there so I just have him charge why not yeah now I notice that the artillery is not I'm not I'm not afraid of what the artillery will do I'm afraid of my units firing into the melee with my cav that's a disaster so he's still alive and I just saw it So his units are getting pretty much torn up right now. But we have to kill them before the reinforcements come in. And there's still a bunch of them. This might be the hardest phase of the battle. Uh, the next two phases are, or three phases, are pretty easy. But getting these guys wiped out is, uh, I felt like it was a bit of a challenge. Okay, now that unit is destroyed, the Iron Brigade's down to 300 men. But we're down to three minutes, so I need to start positioning guys. The map's going to open up. I don't want him to escape to the right when the map opens up, so I need to get some guys in position um, to stop him from escaping to the right. And as you can see, I did not get him to move to the south. He instead backed up to the woods, and then I don't really know where he's trying to go at this point. It doesn't make any sense. But I need to make sure he does not... 
that he absolutely does not get away. Go get him, Lamont. See, Lamont just touched him and he... Gone. That's how it goes. Okay. Um, I give everybody orders, but the biggest thing is I've got to stop this guy from getting away. I don't know what's happening there. I did not tell anybody to charge. I must have told him to run forward or something. Um, okay, these guys need to go forward. My Lamotte's from the north, and my melee cav from the right need to... If anyone tries to make a break to the right, I want them to be in position to uh, get two on one. Okay, not only do we have to kill these guys, but we have to um, get into those defensive positions, and we have to do it before his reinforcements get there, and his reinforcements are on the way. I have way less time than I thought I did when I came up with this incredibly convoluted plan. And I certainly don't want anybody to route north. I want to get them all, so... Yeah, he's he's almost on top of me right now. So, I wish I had more time. These guys would be easy to kill, but because I have to rush, this is going to be a little bit bloody. Then I'm deciding where to send guys. So, I'm going to It was always my plan to send the uh, four three-star units up to the left. Get them back in position to sweep around the enemy. Okay, we, we've got to take these guys out. And I'm going to take some cav losses to do it. But every place where I can get an isolated infantry, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to charge him. I'm hoping my detached skirmisher in the woods will slow him down. Okay, that 500-man unit, I need him to die. Yeah, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking there's there's some chance that I'm not able to kill these guys. So I needed to move about 10 minutes faster in game, which need means instead of walking my units to the north, they needed to run probably for 10 or 15 minutes, and this would have been better. No, I'm not going to risk the Lamotte. I'm going to let that guy get away if he gets away. I don't want him taking a volley from infantry. So all of these guys can get into melee. If they grind melee, that's great. Normally, you're thinking about staying out of melee, but as you know, um, I have been grinding melee. I've been taking additional losses because of it. But uh, I've been grinding melee intentionally. And if, if we get into melee in the woods, that's fine. That means my, he will be less likely to surrender. That's okay. Uh, we get to grind melee for a while. I just need a functional line of defense. And I have a lot of reinforcements coming in just now. So... Just a functional line of defense to hit, to occupy pretty much right where we are right this minute. That was always the plan. So my um, two melee units, when I pulled my cav unit south, 
he was able to jump on this guy who was further to the south. And we did capture that guy to the north. He did not get away. Now I have both my cav units are going to pop this guy who's 529. And I think I decided to let detached skirmishers fire into that fight, even though I'm going to take some losses. I need that guy to die fast. I don't want this to drag out. Kill General Hooker. He's dead. I didn't expect that shot to actually work that well, but it did. One unit surrenders. That's a good sign. Okay, these guys are almost in position. I think I would take up a position now that's further back from the bridge. I'm a little too close, so... Yeah, I have three infantry units that are coming up, and my intent is that they... They're second core. My intent is that they will, if necessary, um, take up the line while the rest of my army rests for a while. They're one-star units, but they'll be fine. And they need to get XP, so that's fine. Okay, we have two of his units have surrendered. Yeah, as you can see, I'm putting a lot of units on the right flank. But that's okay. I have more than enough to handle the situation. Yep, more guys are surrendering. That's good. So I have more than enough to handle the center and the left. And once the right is secured, um, about seven units are supposed to move north along the north edge of, along the right edge of the map. And um, want to encircle the enemy from both the right and left. Okay, he's putting pressure on my detached skirmisher in the north, but that guy needs to hold for just another minute or two, and this is going to be over. Yeah, guy retreats south, which is great. I'm That's terrific. Right where I have these guys coming in, the infields. Um, and I, I just had the one guy charge. And he's having a great time. He's getting kills. And about that time, my Cav gets there. And the Lamotte will make short work of that guy. He shatters. So, get the tired guys out of there. Get the defensive line set up. Just in time. Look at that. Just in time. Go get him, Lamotte. Okay. So, that phase is over. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video there. And uh, I'll show you what happens when we, uh, you know, in the next phase. Thanks for watching.